What's going on and welcome back to the channel. You can tell the parking lot's pretty bare, but we're here early and we have a special guest. It's Mrs. Determined Veteran. Hi everyone. And so you guys are seeing this on the day we released her first impressions of our 2019 GT350R. We really appreciate all the support. That video is doing very well. Look who's yapping his jaws there. It's Ken, Speed Addict 731. Yeah. So if you're not subscribed to uh, Speed Addict 731, give him no, a follow, me. man, for me. So Mrs. DV's moving the car for us. God, Project Voodoo Child looks sexy as hell, man. I love that car, man. Woo! Alrighty guys, so we just had a bunch of cars show up. We got the Porsche right there, nicely wrapped. Very, very nice. This Porsche is new out here. I have not seen this Porsche before, but definitely is a beautiful car. Beautiful wrap on it. Yes, sir. S550 package. Bunch of S550s out here tonight. Got the Mustang gangs out here. Beautiful ZL1 conversion. Got the ZL1 bumper from American Authority. Camaro SS, obviously beautiful car fifth gen package right here something very special about fifth gens another boss 302 you guys all the og subscribers know how much i love a boss 302 got a bmw out here tonight sm 197 package another sm 197 as you can tell there is a lot of cars starting to line up here at cars and cookies and then there's old uh project voodoo child all right man so this is the owner or that is the owner of this beautiful 4.6 uh, S197 package. What year is this, by the way? It's a 2007. Bring us through. We're gonna we're gonna kind of get over here out of the wind, but kind of bring us through everything that's been done to the car here. Uh, it's got an on three 67 millimeter turbo kit, bigger injectors, uh, newer spark plugs, 400 fuel pump. Just a little bit of everything, huh? Just everything you need to run the kit. And it's tuned by Lido. Okay. Remote tune? Or are you doing direct tune? Remote. Remote with through an N gauge setup. No, I, got, I have the uh, SCTX4. Oh, okay, cool. So how long have you had this car? Uh, about five years now. I bought it bone stock and that's where we're at with it now. Right on. I like these wheels. So talk us, talk us through the design of these wheels and what you've done to, you know, I mean, we talked about the engine mods. So the wheels, uh, how long you've had the wheels on like this? Uh, wheels are probably have for about three years now. Uh, they're the SVE Series 3s, 19-inch, uh -huh. uh, which they discontinued. So I got them on sale in there about right before they discontinued them. And then I took them and had them powder coated this candy red. Okay. Well, I appreciate you showing us the car. This thing is gorgeous. Uh, I'll link his Instagram. It follows us on Instagram. This is a really cool car. And thank you very much for having us on it. You know what I mean? So Nick here also has a GT350. Uh, he follows us on the channel. He's seen the pickup of uh, Project Voodoo Child. I've seen him out here before. So Nick, walk us around your car. Tell us what it is. Guys, speak kind of loud because we got the wind sock got, on here tonight. Um, so I got aftermarket rims. I went Signature Series rims. Okay. I got the Cobra R, the R brakes, the GT350 R brakes. Uh -huh. I have the full carbon fiber package all the way around. Side skirts, front splitter, hood, rear, yeah, a rear trunk lid, rear spoiler, everything. Carbon yeah, carbon fiber, and it's pro charged. Yeah, we're gonna see that in a second. But what I wanted to kind of, what I don't know if the camera's catching this, Nick, and we'll be able to fill it. We'll figure it out when we do the post edit on it. But just the carbon fiber hood, all the accents going on. You did a hell of a job on this build. I appreciate it. Thank you. And so he was looking for an R when he bought this. And the guy that traded this in to buy an R, he actually ended up getting this car with 100 miles on it, right? 100 miles. So it was considered used, but it really wasn't. Nope, nope, not at all. So now everybody wants to see the whole, you guys, we don't really care about the, they don't really care about, the, you know, the interior or the exterior. They want to say what's under the hood. I tell you what, this carbon hood is awesome. He de-striped it. It looks really freaking good. Uh-oh, got the push pins. Gotta keep that hood down. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Now, the only song that I will give this is the same reason this <laughs> this little push rod. Yep. But no, I'm just kidding, because that's a, that's a, that's a zonk on any uh, Mustang. But you definitely got the Pro Charger. What are we pushing to the wheels, Nick? 703 to the wheels on six psi. Oh, good God. This I, no boost. No boost. <laughs> low low. Did you did now? Did you do anything to the internals on this Voodoo's Gym One? Yeah, we did do the crank uh, pulley and the uh, old old spocky kit yes, or old pulley gear gear yep, and the crank pulley. Yep. All right, yeah. So you did it smart. Yeah. 
you're running six pounds of boost. What do you think you could turn this up to uh, to actually figure it out and get your max power? I'm not worried about it. Or if I bought like a stronger block, uh, probably eight, nine. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're doing like nine in the, the ZL1. Yeah. We still have a lot to turn up in that one. But the, guys, check this out. It is a beautiful car. He's got the carbon fiber accents. This thing is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. <laughs> Look at that license plate. Got voodoo. That thing is awesome. All right, so we have Blake here, and he has something very, very special. So, Blake, we're going to get the car in here in a little bit. But would you believe, how old are you, Blake? I'm 16. He is 16 years old, has a 1965 Ford Mustang. I am not kidding you. Here it is, guys. This thing is gorgeous. Now, Blake was telling me this is all original. As you can tell, he's got some beautiful interior. This kind of looks like an emerald green color, to be honest with you, Blake. I really wouldn't even know it was painted before I got it. Right, it's it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So uh, it's all original. Blake here goes to school here, uh, local in New Braunfels. You can see this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, what kind of horsepower are we looking at here, Blake? <laughs> 140 to the rear wheels. 140 to the rear wheels. This thing is just, it's gorgeous though. It's, the, it's, that, it's that classic, you don't see it every day. It's a really cool car. I honestly am jealous of you, even though I'm 25 years older than you are. I really wish I had this in high school. It took a lot of fine adjusting, especially on a one barrel carburetor. Yeah, I bet. So, uh, so the interior's all original. Is it open so we can kind of take a look, Blake? Guys, so we're here on the interior. I mean, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, Chevy Camaro owners eat your heart out. Dodge Charger, Dodge Challenger eat your heart out. This is probably one of the most beautiful cars that I've seen uh, up close to get a very good look at, Blake. And I really do appreciate it. And I'm sure the viewers are gonna love this car. Guys, check it out all original he's got some little loose trims he's kind of you know conscious about it but blake this is an awesome car and we really appreciate you showing it to us today but just the leathers in good shape guys i mean 1965 ford mustang with 140 horsepower to the rear wheels you can't get cooler than that guys guys we are having a blast out here starting to pack up all over the place apparently remember when i filmed ken's live stream apparently i was butt moderating because i had my phone in my pocket when it was still playing my bad for all the brothers that saw that my bad but you know the tournament veteran sometimes i'm i'm watching youtube i'm recording youtube i'm all over the place and unfortunately <laughs> that happened but i was trying to give my brother some watch time much love to all the brothers in the ford mustang community it's amazing that a 16 year old restored this. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. It's crazy. All righty guys, so if you like today's content, do me a favor, smash that like button because it does help the channel grow. Consider subscribing if you haven't, and if you have, ring your notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out for me. And remember guys, the DV doesn't stand for a disabled veteran, it stands for a determined veteran. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road guys. If I bleed tonight, if I am sad,